All right, guys, another car that I'm really, really liking at the show today is this Porsche 911 uh, Turbo. You know, when it comes to certain enthusiasts, some feel that some of the other Porsche models, maybe like a GT2 or a GT3 or GT3 RS, are more suited for the track, but I can promise you that a car like this, the Porsche 911 Turbo, it's been around for such a long time. It's such a lineage in Porsche's history that it, it really is an important car and it's good that they're still making the 911 Turbo alongside with cars like the 911 GT2 and the new GT2 RS uh, that's coming out for 2018. Um, one thing I'm absolutely in love with with this car is I love the white with the gold wheels. Now, normally I'm not too crazy about gold wheels, but these wheels are a flat gold and it really, really sets the car off and makes the white pop against the, the wheels. Really, really just clean. You know, 911 Turbo has been around since the 1970s. Um, originally, the turbo cars, they'd, they'd get you in trouble. If you're on a track, you don't know what you're doing, they'd really bite hard because once that boost would kick in, uh, it, would, it would make the car do things that the drivers, if they're not experienced, would not be ready for. With the newer cars, twin turbochargers, these cars are much more friendly. You could drive these on a daily basis. You could take it to the track. You could take it to the autocross event. Uh, it's got all-wheel drive. Uh, you know, you're looking at zero to 60 and, and sub three second range. Um, and that just is, is mind blowing. One other thing I want to point out is, you know, the way the Germans pronounce these cars is Porsche. It's not Porsche. I think another reason why I like this car is it's reminding me back to when I was younger and I used to go to the races with my father. And, and back then, a lot of the old GTP cars, um, a lot of the old um, touring cars and whatnot had the similar style wheel and that's I, I really like that I, I'm really in love with the wheels on this car take you around the back here now what's different about a 911 turbo than say your standard 911 is that wing right there that wing is a turbo specific wing um, right now the driver has it in a up position which you can manually adjust it from behind the wheel or at speed the wing will actually pop up and that's that active arrow this is technology that was once designed on road courses on racetracks that now is finding its way into cars that we could buy right off a dealer showroom lot with full warranty this one is a turbo s now when you see s that's a even more special car than just your standard 911 turbo i know it's hard to say standard 911 turbo but when you see an S model, that's going to have more performance, not only when it comes to the engine, but braking and everything else. Uh, I'm just taken aback by how beautiful this car is because as many of you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of white cars or gold wheels, but this one is just done right. Let me show you inside because there's a lot of things on the inside that the, I like what they're doing in these cars uh, today. So there's, you can see, it's got the PDK transmission. A PDK transmission is a dual clutch transmission. So no, it doesn't have that communication that you want with a traditional manual that you find in a lot of cars, but with the PDK uh, dual clutch transmission, it, you know, performance is gonna be second to none on this car. Um, there's a thing, I remember back when I was a kid, my father told me, you know, manual, you're always gonna be able to out -accel accelerate an automatic, but with technology today, I'm sorry, I hate to say it, the automatics win. And it just comes down to the computer technology in these cars, but there's nothing like rowing through your own gear. So if I could change one thing about this car, it would be to put a traditional manual, even though it wouldn't be as fast, I guarantee you, it'd probably be more fun, especially if you know what you're doing. And then here we are back at the front. Just very, very clean lines. Uh, you know, these lines on this car date back to the 90s when Porsche was running a car called the GT1 over at Le Mans and in the um, European GT Sports Car Championship. So finally the technology and the aerodynamics has been trickling down. It's just a, a timeless car. When you see a 911, you know exactly what you're looking at. You're not gonna confuse this with a Corvette or Ferrari or anything else, you know exactly what it is. So definitely one of my top fives here.